So, um, <laughs> you know how we talk about life in our existence, right? It, mainly our existence in this world. Our existence in this world is more like an, an experience, you know? I've had people or I've heard people say Earth is one of many institutions that the souls come take physical form um, or manifest in to learn, to learn, to learn, to learn, to learn, okay? To bring back information. It Like the more, like the more you think about it and the higher you go, the more you're like, oh, okay, I want to know more. Like who are we bringing back information to? For what? It's like a study. Life is like this one big study. It's a simulation. There's no way. Like the more that the more that you step outside and you could be just objective of life, you see the simulation in progress, like full swing. We're this like this giant system system of experiences system of exchanges and you know what even though we are this system and you know how like if you look at just modern like if you look at a computer system okay so take like just a a system um a computer system or whatever like the how it's wired and everything there's not really e- like emotions to it. It operates. It operates. The system operates. And it's almost like that. that is the world that we're living in. Like, have you ever had some significant event that happened to you? But at the same time, and it's like, it, it, well, it tore you apart. Life isn't fair. Just a multitude of things that's happening, like a multitude of emotions and thought processes and all this that's happening uh, because of, of, of an action that took place. Yeah, life just goes on. Like nothing even happened. And you're just like, well, can I get somebody to care? Can I get somebody to fix this problem? Can I get somebody to fix this for me? And then the more that you try to get this, like maybe someone to wave a magic wand to say, okay, it's all better. The more you try to get someone to understand like the sh- the, the, the magnitude of what you're experiencing. The only thing that they can really say is I'm like, I'm sorry that that happens. Um, wow. That's unfortunate. Is there anything we can do? And it's, it's so weird because it's like, there's nothing that they could do. They can ask, is there anything we can do? But you know, deep down inside, like, okay, there's nothing that you can do. Keep on operating. It just keeps on operating, just like a system, <laughs> just like a system. We are in assimilation. Guys, why am I saying this? Because think about it like this. Think about it like this. Have you ever, uh, here's another thing, another series of events, right? Um, Let's say there's these series of events that's happening, like in your life, in your life, you're operating individually. Yes other people come into our assimilation as well. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying like independently, right? And this is reminding me of the matrix the more that I talk, but independently you're having an experience and every single time, like I'm talking like the ones that matter, the one, the experiences that matter, to us, the ones that stick out, the ones that we're trying to, we, we, we find the most karma attached to, or we're trying to overcome, even though maybe, maybe on a, on a subcon, it's happening subconsciously because it hasn't been brought to our consciousness yet. It hasn't been, it hasn't been, we haven't became aware of this is what's happening, but 
let's say there's some type of interaction that you're doing or something that you're trying to work through just as you live your life. But every time you approach that situation, it's like there is some series of events that's lined up to operate as soon as you attempt to do like this, this certain action, event, engage in a certain situation. I don't know how to explain it, <laughs> but it's like as soon as you attempt to do that, it's like something sets off and it's almost like the same series of events take place it's like the movie Groundhog's Day on the movie The Matrix like how they had all the people walking by and then they had the lady with the red dress pass by like enticing these senses and things of that nature but it's you know I've seen it before but to explain it you know Take Mario or something like that. Some game like Mario. Like I used to play Mario all the time. (laughs) And it's like in a different world, there would be different series of events that Mario would pass or engage in before he gets to the end of that world to hit the flag, right? And like, let's say, let's go to like the fortresses, the fortresses, like where he used to battle um, Cooper, King Cooper, I believe. It would be a series of events. Like he would always come across like the fireballs, the swinging fireballs. Like, yes, there will be some fireballs that's just automatically going off, but, and cannons and stuff that's already um, automatically shooting off. Well, yeah, they're shooting because they know Mario is coming in that direction or whoever you're playing, you know. But there'll be some times where some of the fireballs and cannons will go off only when they see Mario approach that 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 spot. Okay, so Mario is coming, Mario approaches a certain spot, and bam, there goes a fireball from something or a cannon or whatever it may be. But my point is, is that it's the same way in real life. I kid you not. And it's only until you become aware or conscious of it that you take notice in a way to where you're like, wait, what? Life for me, guys. And this has been the same thing ever since I started my channel. Ever since I started my channel, there's like, I'm going to use one thing. There's different things that jump off, but I'm going to use one thing in particular, helicopters, helicopters and planes and different things of that nature. I will be sitting here day after day after day, whatever the case may be, with no signs of, or, or the helicopter sounds, nothing interfering with anything that I'm doing. Okay. But it doesn't matter what time of the day that I get up and I want to turn on my video and start recording. There's a series of events that's triggered. One, a bunch of helicopter noises in the background. Two, people interrupting. Three, my dog becoming extra. You know, it's just like different. It's like many stages that I'm going through because I accessed, um, I accessed something in the simulation that says okay trigger this event trigger that like send in the helicopters <laughs> y'all, y'all know i be coming up with some some talks but like seriously y'all y'all know y'all know what i'm talking about you have to become aware of it though and i'm like okay so what do you do so think about it like this mario the more you start playing the levels you see, okay, this is a repetitive thing. Like mostly every time there's going to be two cannons that shoot, a pause, a breathe of fire, three fireballs. You get what I'm saying? You start knowing, noticing the pattern. So when you come in and you're a big Mario, you get the two cannonballs, duck, duck, the two cannonballs, get up because of the pause, jump. There goes the the you hear the breathing so you're not going to jump too fast because you know it's fire coming from somewhere so you're going to give it some seconds then you're going to move see the helicopters
you gonna move, <laughs> then you gonna then you gonna then you gonna jump two three times over the three fireballs, then you gonna you know stick Cooper in his face or uh, whatever you wanna do. You gonna light him up. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like you have to start confronting the simulation to change the pattern, right? To win the game. Because as painful as it is, that's all it really is. The pain is the lessons. The pain is the, okay, I'm waking you up to fight. You know, like, fight me back. Engage in assimilation. I don't know. You know, it's funny because like in the Matrix, it's like they stop engaging in assimilation. Y'all know how I feel about the Matrix. I don't, I feel from what I could figure out, Listen, listen, y'all from, and that don't make me right, but it don't make the person who said what they, it don't make anybody right. But listen, I feel like the earth plane or the atmosphere we're in with, with, um, as far as the solar system, whatever is our matrix. And you don't really ever leave the matrix. You upgrade. It's just like a, like a game. <laughs> A computer system, you don't necessarily, it's like you upgrade the system. As you go along, we upgrade the system. We upgrade the game. We upgrade some type of way. I, like I, I, I said this before, but, you know, it could be my own thought processes, you know. But why am I saying this? Is because, like, on the Matrix, didn't they try to leave the simulation? But uh, outside of the simulation, they weren't really living, though. They weren't really living. They weren't really engaged in anything. Oh boy, he went back to the matrix. I can't even think of his name. He went back to the matrix because he's like, what? You know, because it's like the matrix is the learning system in itself. However, I do believe that the matrix can be hijacked. Viruses, you know how a computer system is hijacked and viruses is, 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 download it into the system or people could put viruses on your system, whatever. I kind of feel like when the matrix is hijacked, it becomes, it's like it's infiltrated through, with a virus. Like there's a very large virus in this matrix right now. <laughs> that, 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 that hijacks the system. And tries to take the game to be played. And it's the, think about it. Y'all, remember when they came along with those cheat, the cheat codes and the things of that nature that has just let you through the game? Okay, I'm going to let you through the game. I'm going to let you through the game. And you felt like, oh, I did it. But then some kind of way you feel like, well, I didn't really do it. This ain't the same. It's like I cheated my way through. This is not the same as actually playing the game, though. It's kind of like people that sell their souls in the Matrix. Because of the people that's cracked the system or got to put the place of virus. It's telling them, boom, I'm about to give you a cheat code. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But somewhere along the way, it's like it's not enough because it's like I'm not really some kind of way. I feel like I'm not really playing the game. Like I was deceived. I was tricked out of my game. No matter how painful or hard the game is, maybe I want to win the game. But anyhow, my point is like going through the simulation, like changing up. Like I told you, I'm not going to get hit by the, the cannons. I'm going to dodge it, but this is what I'm going to do. Okay, the helicopter, I'm about the film. I'm not going to get upset because when I get upset, it takes me to another place. I start thinking negatively, whatever. I start feeling sorry for myself, playing a victim, whatever. Instead, when I hear the helicopter... Like right now, I don't know if y'all can hear that. I'm going to stop. Let it pass. Woosa. It's still going. And continue on. Now, to you guys, it's like, what are you talking about? It's a freaking helicopter. Yeah, but it irritates me, though. You see? 
what I'm trying to do here. It, it, it could be something very small in the simulation that you're playing, in the game that you're playing. And it can be something that you can't really go and prove to somebody. Because to everybody else, it's like, okay, well, that's just a regular helicopter. You live near a military base. What do you expect? Yeah, but it's not the same. It's not affecting somebody else the same that it's affecting me. When you put that along with everything else that's happening in my particular simulation. Does that make sense? Your thing may be something totally different. The thing that happens for you every time you go to do a thing is <laughs> probably totally different for me. And I may not even notice it. I may not even pick up on it. I don't know, guys. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It made sense to me. And I, like, I'm interested to hear some of you guys, if y'all understand what I'm saying, if you don't, you know, but <laughs> it's a simulation for real black. Like, we know that. We know that. But it's like, a lot of us is trying to really pinpoint what that is exactly. It's like, what is it exactly? You know? Think about it. I feel like, and think about it like this. When one person in the game, if you fall in a ditch, or so, it depends on how many lives you have, boom, another Mario comes in. Or you can start at the same world, right? Until you just get a complete game over. Until you just get something happen, we just got to start completely over, which is like when you exit and you didn't do what your job, what your soul came here to do, you come back in through the simulation, Right? But <laughs> it's like on the similar, it's like, let's say someone you were supposed to do a job, even with somebody else, like with another soul in assimilation, that soul falls off, whether they pass away, whether they say, oh, I'm not going to do what I'm supposed to do. They send somebody else into the simulation, like into it and to pick up and you pick up together and you keep it moving. Or you pick up like where you left off and you keep it moving. You don't have to start back over just because someone else didn't play their part in the game. It's just the weirdest thing. Yo, no. <laughs> no, for real. Just really think about that. Just really think about that. And then these people that affect us in our immediate space. Well, you're just looking like, okay, you're my mother, you're my father, you're my sister, you're my brother, you're my cousin, you're supposed to be my friend, you're my wife, you're my husband. But why is it that you seem more like my opposition than anything? Who is you and what is you doing? And you start to side-eye, like, wait a minute, what? And it's like, you eating your food and they're looking at you like. And then when you look up, they're just like, oh, I'm eating. Who is these characters in the game? <laughs> who are these characters they're playing the character as a mom they're playing the character as the teacher they're playing, you know but really they're activating these these secrets these sequences of events i don't know okay all i was trying to do was tell y'all how life is assimilation and why i feel like it's assimilation and like how i feel like it's operating you know or how we're operating operating inside of the simulation. <laughs> can't you hear the helicopters? <laughs> you know, if you can't, I can't. I can't. But anyhow. Okay, life is a simulation. I'm butterfly to life. And who, if not me, is going to take you to the dimensions outside of yourself to explore? 